Hello everyone, welcome to Ali Crochet. Today's video, I'm going to show you how I crochet this flower coaster. This is super cute. I'm using this yarn. Um, it's kind of acrylic and cotton yarn combination and a tulip crochet hook, 4 millimeter. You can also use um, 3.5 or 2. It's really up to you. And then a pair of scissors and some stitch marker. So begin your work with a magic ring. Then chain up up to four. One, two, three, and four. Yarn over and double crochet in the ring. Chain one, yarn over and double crochet. Continue doing this, and you should have a total of 12 double crochet all the way around. Slip stitch on the third chain. And then grab your second yarn and slip stitch in there. And then enter the chain one space. You are going to put chain three, yarn over and put another double crochet, chain one. And into the next chain one space, you're going to put two double crochet chain one. And continue doing this, the same pattern all the way around. Two double crochet in each of the following chain one space, chain one. Again, slip stitch into the third chain, slip stitch into the next chain, slip stitch into the chain one space, then chain three, one, two, three. Put another two double crochet in the chain one space for a total of three double crochet. In every chain one space, chain two, and then again, like I said, three double crochet in every chain one space, then chain two. Continue doing the same pattern all the way around, and then slip stitch as usual into the third chain then cut your yarn so now using a green yarn now using your green yarn insert your hook into the center of the three double crochet and then chain four then single crochet into the chain two space then chain three single crochet into the center of your three double crochet chain three and single crochet into the chain two space so continue doing the same pattern all the way around again in between the three double crochet and in the 
chain two space. Always chain three before you do the single crochet. Slip stitch in your first single crochet, slip stitch into the chain three space then chain four one two three four yarn over and double crochet into that same space then chain one yarn over double crochet chain one yarn over double crochet chain one and one more yarn over and double crochet you should have four double crochet space and then chain three and chain one into that same space now into the next chain three space you're going to chain seven then one two three four into the fourth chain you're going to slip stitch then chain three and single crochet into the next chain three space so like i said you should have a total of five double crochet space on that first work so again chain one into the next chain three space then chain four yarn over double crochet chain one yarn over double crochet chain one yarn over double crochet chain one and one more yarn over double crochet then chain three one two and three and single crochet into that same chain three space then single crochet into the next space and chain seven so continue the same pattern all the way around So now slip stitch into the beginning stitch then chain one and cut your yarn so now we're going back to our first yarn which is maroon insert your hook into the chain I mean into the 
double crochet space in between then chain one two yarn over pull up the loop yarn over pull up the loop insert yarn over and pull up the loop one more thing for four times yarn over and pull up the loops and then yarn over and pull through all the loops chain one and do the same thing into the next chain one space we'll yarn over and pull up the loops for four times this will be the puff stitch chain one and you should have a total of five puff stitches so now pull up the loop once you've done and then insert the hook into the very first chain one that you made grab the yarn that you just pull up and then chain three yarn over and double crochet into the first single crochet then chain two insert your hook into the between double crochet then chain one and again yarn over make double crochet another double crochet on that same stitch chain two insert your hook in between the double crochet and chain one again yarn over and into the next you're going to put the same two double crochet set so the first one is to double crochet chain two insert your hook in between the double crochet then single crochet again put two double crochet another double crochet chain two insert your hook chain one next same pattern two double crochet chain two insert your hook in between the two double crochet chain one second set two double crochet chain two insert your hook in between the two double crochet then chain one last two more sets one two chain two and chain one in between another two double crochet chain two and single crochet in between and now put more two sets of double crochet into where you connect your puff stitch chain two insert your hook and chain one then double crochet one more time for two times one two chain two slip stitch and then slip stitch into the beginning 
chain two space and chain one and then cut your yarn and this is the flower that we made so far now continue doing that seven more times I will show you again on how to crochet a flower first slip stitch you can start with a chain 3 or you just start with a pull up yarn 4 times and 4 yarn over and pull through all the loops chain 1 and then again pull up 4 times like a puff stitch chain 1 and do the same thing for up to 5 times in total so after you've done your flower um, stitches you're going to just hide all the excess yarn just to make your project neat and clean And this is the finished product. Thank you, thank you for supporting and watching my video tutorial. 
and see you on my next vlog again. This is Ali Crochet. Bye!